Team Impulse's win. Thank you, Riv. Yes, a win there for Impulse, and I have to say, it kind of played out as expected. Pretty much. I mean, we have to keep in mind, Coast is a 1-14 and 14 team now, potentially the worst team we've ever seen in the LCS in comparison to the competition. Impulse as well was on this like big high note after the first 2-0 and week, and they were looking a little bit overconfident coming in, laughing around. Maybe the Yasuo pick, is that a real pick for Shaoi Shower? Did he just want to play it? But none of that ended up mattering because they were so dominant in this game, and Coast was unable to punish them. Yeah, had to redeem himself after that loss on Yasuo earlier in the split. Yeah. Anyway, though, I want to jump into our first clip, where we're going to go to the top and we're going to look at the tower dive that Impulse decided to follow through with. Yeah. Uh, we, we're going to set it up here with kind of the 1v1 that they have in the top lane prior to this. But it essentially, it kind of, it kind of accentuates, one, the aggression that Impulse had uh, in that they felt free to do whatever they want around the map. I think that's the most important thing is the freedom that Impulse had and the inability for Coast to punish this overaggression. I mean, we look at the map right now and there is nobody on that minimap that is even close. Literally, the other four members of Coast are on the other side of the map. So from a communication perspective, if Coast wants to punish this or get away from this, Chris has to get out of there. And he has his teleport up. So let's just actually roll this clip and show the opportunities he has to get away. So first off, they don't see Rush, so it's not that big a deal. He's just kind of doing his own thing, but he knows he has absolutely no support. So he's backing away from the jungle, Rush is plotting his gank, and he takes his sweet time with this one. He hops the wall, blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing, he misses the spear. At this point, Chris, get out. Leave, you have no backup. When that spear misses, he has another window. He can teleport before the next spear would get him, and he could go. But once he waits past that point, he's dead. Yeah, the even, team... even so, this whole time, he can still be yeah. DPing. And here's where the breaking communication happened for Coast, because after he is already dead, Cho'Gath and Gragas start roaming up on the minimap. But it's all too late. So not only did they have no presence there, Chris could not escape, and then they waste time for coming up, which to Impulse makes that seem like a worthy play. Yes, they got the kill, but Rush threw three or four spears. It should have been an escapable gank as well, and he wouldn't have had time after counter jungling that. Like, that shouldn't have been a benefit for Impulse against a good team that will not result in a positive play, but it did, and it's one of the things that kind of snowballed this game out of control. All right, right, yeah, the opportunity there for them to put pressure elsewhere on the map definitely existed for the side of Coast. They didn't follow through on it. Yeah. Now, with the kind of mistakes that come into play when we're looking at a team like Coast, right? We this is a normal thing or a regular thing with them, right? Where like they're it. not they're not capitalizing on opportunities. Sometimes what I've noticed is that it can have a negative effect on the opposing team and the way that they play because they fall into some of the traps of not being punished yeah. for their mistakes. I think this is going to be really interesting. Like for the next game when Impulse ends up playing their next opponent. They play Winter Fox tomorrow, a game that they should end up winning. But the thing there is teams are really bad record-wise games after they play Coast. We actually have another clip here on the Telestrator to show how sloppy they were playing, quite honestly. They were going full solo queue in a sense. Disrespect. This is like Rush rank one solo queue posturing when he's completely dominating the game. And everyone else also doing that own thing. Uh, it was in the middle of the game here. Yeah, so I, we're going to pull that up, and we're going to take a look. This is about 20 minutes into the game in the bottom side jungle, and, and the result here was definitely positive for Coast in terms of a kill yeah. you know, getting some kills back. But when you look at everything that took place here and the amount of overstepping that Impulse did in order to donate these kills over, it's yeah. a little absurd. Yeah, we can get right into this one. Just watch what Rush is doing here. Remember, he is a tier of the goddess in Italy. He has no real tank stats outside of this, and he is just daring people to go in on him. Yes, they pushed him back, but then at this point, he's throwing spears. He's in front of everybody. <laughs> no one is close. Leona could turn around, kill him in every moment. If Cho'Gath lands one spell, he's dead, and lo and behold, it's they exactly actually lock what him they down. Do. And look yeah. what happens. <laughs> he <laughs> disappears. Just... And, and then the problem with this is, Normally, after that happens, your team runs away. But Impulse is playing with such overconfidence that they say, now nah, we got this. We can stick around. We can continue to stay in. And eventually, it is punished by Coast. But it took that much of a misplay in order for Coast to actually start turning that around. And once again, against the better teams in the LCS that Impulse needs to be ready to play against, that can't happen. And when they can get away with things like this on the LCS stage, I think it sets a bad precedent for them overall when trying to become a top tier team. So like that's 
frankly, a little bit disappointing from play from Impulse that they made those mistakes against such inferior opposition. They need to clean that up for the rest of the LCS season. Exactly, yeah. Looking at tomorrow and the fact that they're in that, in that playoff race for positioning, they definitely need to clean things up and do a little bit better. You know, now with that loss... Coast is officially eliminated yep. from the playoffs, so we're going to pull up the standings and take a quick look at those just so everybody can get a little picture at home. That is a win for uh, Tip, which, uh, you know, bodes well in terms of their, their playoff race. They definitely needed to secure that. But yeah. um, They're going to be going, I mean, there's still a small chance that Tip could rise even farther in the standings. Coast completely relegated to the Challenger Series, 1-14. At this point, they're just going to be trying to play spoiler on teams. I did like their pick and ban risks this game, to be honest. I have to say, it was nice to see the Cho'Gath, and the Cho'Gath actually performed decently in lane, but again, it was just, it was team errors, map-wide. Anyway, we are going to take a break while Team Liquid and Cloud9 prepare to face off in our second game of the day. Don't go anywhere. The NALCS continues after this. <laughs> All right, yeah. oh, baby. I know we're on a lost streak. Cool but there are people queue. out there who believe in us. Okay, we, we can win. We can win! Teleports at the same time, and neither are stopped, so we're gonna get a good one. The Battle Royale in the bottom lane. Oops. Impact's gonna get blown away on that one. Was it heaven saving him? The oh, turnaround, man. one last shot. How deep is Apollo gonna go? Careful, 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 careful. 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 Okay, careful though. Rumble's here. Two, two, two. I can TP behind him, I can TP behind him. Go, 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 go. TP behind him, this guy, this guy. Coming, coming, coming. Yeah, yeah, no barrier, no barrier, no barrier. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. I'm on Graves, I'm yeah, on yeah, Graves, yeah. Graves, 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 Graves. Heaven with the hit, but they're all getting choked. Where's Graves the rest of the team work. here? It's not going to be Conquan able to follow. The Solar Flare is off from the side, and it is going to be Impulse taking down Coast. 